Okay, so now Swain's leveled up. And so that's important because now whenever we do Nexus damage, we stun something. So all we gotta do is play a burst spell. Just stun the strongest back row enemy. And we have a couple of good looking burst spells right here. They're gonna be good at stunning. So if their plan is like Gangplank or Sejuani, we get to stun those. Pain is nothing. Hard to pass up Leviathan, but I'm gonna take the Mystic Shot. I will break them. I'll kill that and stun the, the, the monkey. Such little lives. And welcome. Everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Swain for our next deck. So far, not so good today, but that's okay. You know, like what we're doing is just kind of trying out some uh, new decks to see if there's anything that I like more than Jarvan Shen. And um, so far, my first two experiments have not gone as so well, but that's all right. Like I said, we have Jarvan Shen for a backup. If you missed the other the uh, the other videos, I guess to reset a little bit, um, I I am. Uh, focused on playing Gangplank's Fate and Vladimir Brom in the seasonal tournament and just kind of seeing if there is a different third deck that I would want to play. Up here, we're going to have Ezreal Swain for uh, our next deck to test out, which I think could be, you know, pretty good because there's a, a lot of like, you know, like small elusives and again, small units and things like that. And so I wanted to try this one out where like Hexite, you can, we can use like Fallen Feline with Hexite Crystal. That should be pretty amazing with Swain. These aren't targets. For Ezreal, they don't count as targets, but it does do a lot of damage for Swain. And so for card draw, we're going to have Whisper Words, Static Shock, Time Trick. Because we're playing um, the Fallen Felines, we really want those Hexite Crystals, which with the Zillion deck, we did a horrible job finding Hexite Crystal. <laughs> Hopefully we do better this time. Uh, but I'm going to play some Practical Perfectionists. Uh, you know, two more cards to predict to find them. Plus, if we, we can make extra copies of, like, time tricks, or even you can choose champions. We can make extra copies of Ezreal or Swain, especially Ezreal, how the um, the champion spell is just Mystic Shots. That could be pretty nice, making more copies of those. But time tricks a great one to make a lot of copies of. Whisper Words, Leviathans, you know, you never know. So we'll, we'll uh, kind of try this out. So we got Death Lotus for all these aggro decks. Um, House Spider is a good blocker to go along with Fallen Felines. We got five early blockers, um, and then yeah, lots of like little ways to make to deal damage. Instead of three Scorched Earths, I'm going to play one Guillotine instead of the third Scorched Earth. So we'll see if that uh, does end up being better than Scorched Earth. And that's kind of about it. So, all right, let's go ahead and play some games over in ranked. Uh, even though it hasn't gone well, we can't go below zero <laughs> LP, so that's all good. Well, I think we're going to need to get to around 100 LP, 100 to 150 LP, somewhere in there, um, by the time the cutoff is for the top 700 in three days. So we got three days for that. <laughs> Can we get that third Scorched Earth back in here, or no? Like, <laughs> Is that something we can have? I guess I don't even really want to keep Ezreal. Yeah, let's just send these all back. Let's look for Scorched Earth. It's just the most important card to find. The time trick will help us find it. My plans. And they have the round one Frozen Thrall, so they're putting a fast clock on us. we got to find that Scorched Earth. I think we can play this. Alright, so they should have Ice Shard. That's what that uh, crying face means, is that I have Ice Shard that I'm about to kill these. Oh no. They're going to take 4 damage. Wasn't expecting that. All right, no Scorched Earth, but I guess we take Whispered Words because that just draws us. Uh, I think I'll have time for Whispered Words. Yeah, I should have time. 
whisper words, hopefully. We really don't want to see Talia, right? Talia copying that would be bad. Yeah, Scorched Earth. Perfect. We can do that this next round before Talia can copy. Warm hearts and hot soup. Come on, please work. Don't have like a burst speed advance too. Oh no, a right of negation. Oh man. Well. Am I supposed to save this for an 8-8? Maybe. Mary, welcome to the stream. Glad you're, yeah, you enjoy the content on YouTube. Happy to have you here. Scorched Earth number two. Never lucky. Never lucky. The other eight. Right of negation. Gross. Six would have been nice for leveling that up, but I don't expect that to meta. I mean, I don't. I just don't have like more. I only have like Mystic Shot as far as like direct nexus damage. I'm not playing Get Excited, anything like that. Oh and one. We found Scorched Earth, but they had right negation, so fun game that round. Alright, so Gangplank Sejuani. This is the this is the kind of matchup that I was kind of expecting to face. And this is why I'm playing one Noxian Guillotine over a Scorched Earth, because we we gotta be able to kill our champions, right? Their champions are difficult to deal with. And I felt like having a guillotine could kill multiple champions that we, you know, use like a, you know, static shock or whatever to deal damage to. So it's likely Black Market Merchant. Go ahead and shoot it so they don't have more cost reduction. On any future nabs. Really? I guess I got punished for shooting it because I could have just made a free uh, Mystic Shot this round. All right, so they stole a Mystic Shot from me. I wasn't planning on playing this entry, but I need to have a blocker for this thing. I guess I'm just taking the pass. Don't blink, or you'll miss me. 
You don't want to cross me. Stop bragging if you can back it up. to no one. So it's going to be five. I kind of think that I have to do this so that whoever challenges the Ezreal, then we score sure the thing that challenges the Ezreal. Sure. So I kind of wasted a Mystic Shot, but it, it it did level up the Ezreal, at least. And not quite the Swain. Mm. Watch and learn. So if I play Swain, they play another Sejuani. Frostbite Ezreal. That's kind of bad for me, because then I just kind of waste the turn. Okay, so now Swain's leveled up, and so that's important because now whenever we do Nexus damage, we stun something, so all we gotta do is play a first spell, just stun the strongest back row enemy, and we have a couple of good looking burst spells right here, they're gonna be good at stunning. So if their plan is like Gangplank or Sejuani, we get to stun those. Pain is nothing. Hard to pass up Leviathan, but I'm going to take the Mystic Shot. I will break them. I'll kill that and stun the, the, back, the monkey. Such little lives. Oh no, whatever will I do? The crystal! Maybe play a new Ezreal. Okay, let's go with... Now they don't have a fearsome blocker for Swain, but I guess I need to have Ezreal hit first because when Swain hits the Nexus, it will do three, which would uh, kill the Powder Monkey, which would Frostbite. Oh, we drew that to Frostbite. Um, oh crap. So I'll put them down to two. Obviously, I have this thing for for two, but I don't I don't need to 
I don't I don't need to like put both those on the stack and then they then they play like a you know warning shot plus um harpoon and just like kill my Azrael. Really wish this wasn't thermogenic beam that this, this was something that I could like play. Like, I think I'm safe. Again, just har harpoon's just like the thing. Like that, I could just play. I can afford to play around harpoon. Oh right, mystic shot does two to the face anyway without the Ezreal. <laughs> All right, well, it's fine. We're we're good. Because any time that they would threaten trying to kill me or Ezreal, I'd have the two. So yeah, I guess. I guess I technically could have done it before. Alright. Yeah, I had... I, I couldn't lose. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I could have finished it a little earlier. Tried an Anivia deck. Yeah, we actually played an Anivia Karma deck not that long ago that did well. That was one I was definitely thinking of doing again today, but wanted to do these ones instead. Alright, what do we have? Lulu Zed? No, Jarvan Shen. Alright, Jarvan Shen we need big removal for. Unfortunately, Ezreal's not usually very good against Jarvan Shen with them having challengers and sharp sight to block. We could definitely use a good time trick. Be aggressive. Be be aggressive. Not a bad trade. Break their spirits and their swords. Slip through my paws. Well, this will not take long. Alright, no reason to play this Mr. Shot now and let them save two mana. This seems like a good thing to Scorched Earth. And doing that over Flock so they can't just... Um, you know, Twin Discipline and Sharp Sight. Could still find that time trick. Okay, that's now that we'll shuffle it up. That's fine. Okay, got it. I think definitely see taking the um Maybe we should have taken that static shock instead. Taking that static shock instead. Gotta find more stuff. 
They're down to 10. Words make a ruler, but actions make history. They use pump spell fight. I hope they don't do that. Destination in sight. Dark in the sky. All right, cool. Down to seven. Where are you at? Five out of six. So kind of assuming, like, if they have a fight spell, I don't know, it's more mana, but I think the Static Shock's the way to go over the um, other card. Please don't have a uh, single combat, please. Cool. Take that. No quarter. <laughs> Check me out. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. This just does two damage to their nexus. And now round start, do three. Yeah, we have so many ways to kill them. Can't imagine we lose from here. Man, I've, I've been happy with this deck. You know, we, we, got, we got thralled. With some thralls. Alright, cool. We got uh, we got pretty lucky with having our scorch you know double scorched earth. We even had that guillotine that we didn't use, but those that those are the cards that we need against those uh, screeching dragons. Wow, we got an aggro deck. This is like our second aggro deck today to face. Ricky Ban. All right, so Kordak, you're going to be in, in Seasonals. You're going to be playing uh, Sivir Action. What's the other region with Sivir Action that you're playing? And then you're going to play Twisted Fate Gangplank. Cool, cool. And then Heimer Sejuani. I never... Explosives primed. I'll do better this time. Yeah, we, we had some rough matchups with the Echo Zillion. But did learn some stuff about it. Talked about like maybe being able to add like Augmented Experimenter later to help out. My past ah! Demacia for the other region. Are you playing... Obviously Sharp Sight, but are you playing like Rally cards? I'll just save the spell mana and wait till next round for this time trick. Who's gonna get in my way? Don't give them the information about whatever it is. And we also have more information about what we need. Oh, look at that Hexite Crystal, A. Eh? Sentry pairs with block. Each one will still do one damage to me. But we got twice as many cards in hand as they do now. I guess I'm not going to be able to send people off with only three mana, so might as well do this. I don't really want more copies of any of those, so I will skip. Pride Steel Protector? Okay. Yep, Tomasi is a good choice.
Death Lotus hasn't looked too good in any of these games. Man, that Hexite Crystal, though, leveled up Swain so fast. <laughs> Finally, we got some Hexite Crystal luck. I mean, what else am I doing with this card, right? So I could definitely see that, that being Fervor, what they just grabbed. And so I want to save, I was going to save Flock for Fervor, but now that I drew Mystic Shot. Oh, wow. Wow, that's the life right there. Well, I'm still saving this because, like, a Gangplank would kind of kill me. But man, that's the life right there. I don't think, that's not the, that wasn't the um, Misfortune, or sorry, the, uh, that wasn't the spell from the Sprayfin, I don't believe. No prey, no pay. Bet. Love ya. Gameplay's just too scary. For Empire! Ye started without me! Fire! Say your farewells. They can't fervor. They fervor, they lose. Yep. Add that down. Three and one. Okay, I could see playing this instead of Jarvan Chen. Alright, let's try this matchup out again. Gangplank Sejuani. We got pretty fortunate last time, like, getting both of our leveled-up champions in play. Um, don't expect it to go that well again. We'll send these two back. So we're sending Time Trick back. Good. I don't know, I could definitely see playing the Fallen Feline before attacking. Not too surprised there. Hope they don't have another one. Or they do have another one. In case of another Black Market Merchant, I don't want them having the double cost reduction, but it could be a waste of a Mystic Shot, to be honest. That should be relying on the Fallen Feline to block that thing. Okay. Kind of worked out. I really need card draw right now. Could attack him for two. Hexite Crystal, where are you? Where are you, spirit? I don't know, double Death Lotus? We got double Death Lotus, I have four cards left. They have seven. Maybe I should have Static Shocked instead of playing this time trick and then relied on Static Shock plus Death Lotus. Alright, or I'll just do that. That sounds good too. I'm 
not greedy. My friends, though. It's only my second target for Ezreal. So they still have two awesome cards from me. Don't know what those two cards are yet. Time for a true display of skill. Well, we figured out what, what one of them is. I can't play Leviathan, because Dreadway kind of kills me. It's just how greedy do I want to be with the Sentry. Stun like this 3-2 so that we get to block the Dreadway. That would be like the best po possible scenario, and then I can flock the Grifter. And then I can have the Guillotine kill the Dreadway. But if they have like a Mega Rain or a Parlay or anything that just kills the Sentry and I don't get to block, it's, it's very greedy. I guess if I go this route, Prepare the cargo. we trade Leviathan and Death Lotus for Dreadway. The okay. Take six. Get these to be five out of five. You're correct, they did not attack with the boat. In the skies. By my hand, will Noxus rise. So I'm thinking about Mystic Shot their face, put him down to nine. Then play sentry and stun. Because like this this will so it'll stun the dreadway. Patience is a tactician's greatest. They play Gangplank. Maybe not. Stop bragging if you can back it up. Forward! Positions! Them down to four. Firing. No way. Success. Get you notice around here. Oh, that thing already did kill the spider, didn't it? So I just wasted that mystic shot. Oh, did it really? I guess it did, didn't it? Yeah, those are already going to kill the spider. Yeah, I messed that up. Okay. Well. I messed that up. Did level up my Ezreal. Just it's me taking two. It's me taking another one. Not dead yet. Easy win. Wasn't even close. My conflict 
and only one way. Had it the whole time. Never a doubt in my mind that we had that one. All right, so yeah, I I kind of panicked Mystic Shot there real fast. Kind of forgot that I was going to do two damage to their, their stuff as well. And that almost cost me that game. But, you know, you got to be better with Mega Rain. Got to be better with that card. Uh, but yeah, I liked. I really liked how this deck felt. I could definitely see playing this or Jarvan Shen. So all right, we got we got a second deck. Okay, so it's either this or Jarvan Shen. But I liked how this felt quite a bit. Loved all these static shocks. the The only card that didn't really look that good was, was the Death Lotus, and so that card could probably be like Third House Spider is what I would probably want to do with the first one, and then maybe just another Scorched Earth. Right, like those Scorched Earth were like super important. Um, could be another Whisper Words to just, you know, make sure that we keep getting that, that card draw, like, in the mid-game. Honestly, True Shot Barrage... True Shot Barrage is kind of overlooked, to be honest. There's a lot of times that True Shot Barrage just, like, is devastating. And obviously with Ezreal, just, like, halfway levels up your Ezreal, you know, like, it just auto-levels Ezreal. Blade's Edge is another, like, nice little option that, like, Blade's Edge can, um, you know, stun something for Swain or counts as a target for Ezreal, right? And it's just super cheap. So, like, maybe just playing, like, Blade's Edge instead of Death Lotus is the way to go of, like, killing, you know, like, your Green Glade duos and stuff, like, the one-mana cards. I kind of want to, next time that we try this, maybe just try Third House Spider, get rid of Death Lotus, try Third House Spider, and maybe try a True Shot Barrage. Because, I don't know, I feel like no nobody's going to see it coming. Now, of course, Seasonal Tournament, they'll know your deck list. That'll probably make it a little worse. But like every time you play like a Heimerdinger deck and you play Flash of Brilliance and you create this card, it's just always devastating. So yeah, I'd kind of maybe be thinking about either that or Blade's Edge. You know, one of those one of those kind of things. Because you can even go round four if you you know you save your spell mana, like save your spell mana on round three, then round four True Shot Barrage, <clears throat> and just kill. Like a Lulu and a Zed and a Green Glade duo with one card. Those are those are probably the cards I'd be looking at. Blade's Edge, I guess maybe a Death Ray or a True Shot Barrage. Um, Death's Hand, also okay. You know, like it's Death's Hand is acceptable. Could be in there too if you don't want to do True Shot Barrage. The thing I like about Blade's Edge, what I really like about it over Death Ray is that it does one Nexus damage. So you can, it can be a, you know, one mana stunt. You know, like you can turn it into a guile against decks, you know, decks with big attackers and stuff. You can turn it into a guile. All right, but there we go. That's, that's an option. Um, if you try this deck out later, just give True Shot Barrage a try. Just give it a try. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, I'd love to hear what, what y'all think of True Shot Barrage. But there we go. That's going to be Ezreal Swain. I'll probably play this deck again later on, you know, like maybe, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow or the next day, like, we, we play some Jarvan Shen and some Ezreal Swain and kind of see which one we like better. But we got one more deck to try out also, Sivir Renekton. That's coming up next. So as always, uh, those of y'all on YouTube, let me know about that True Shot Barrage. Leave those comments. Love to hear about it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.